Okay, okay. So now you've got a little idea between the difference of anaconda and miniconda. Hopefully you're not sick of snakes yet because we've got one more conda to cover. And that's conda itself. If anaconda and miniconda are like the hardware store and workbench of data scientists, conda is like a data scientist's personal assistant. It can help you set up your workbench, order new tools when you need, make a copy of what tools you're using to share with someone else, and more. Formally, Anaconda and Miniconda are known as software distributions, and Conda is known as a package manager. Remember how a package is a collection of code someone else has written which you can use? Well, Conda helps you download, install, and manage these packages. When you download Anaconda or Miniconda and install it to your computer, Conda comes with them. But because we're using Miniconda, Miniconda comes with the essentials to get started, like Python, not the entire hardware store of data science tools like Anaconda. But Miniconda also comes with Conda. And so I know this can seem confusing to begin with, and trust me, it took me a while to understand this. But what Conda allows us to do is install other tools. So we've got Miniconda, which is like the base. We've got Python to get started. That's on our computer. And then we use Conda, the package manager, to install these other packages. Now you might be thinking, Daniel, why do we do it this way? This seems so confusing. There's so many steps. Yeah, I already have my computer. You're telling me I have to download Miniconda. Miniconda comes with Conda. Conda's like some personal assistant that helps me install packages. Packages are code other people have written. And I totally get you. I was the same when I first started. But after working in different teams, I started to see how important it was to get this type of setup for each kind of project you're working on. Up next, we're gonna see how Conda, our personal assistant for our data science tools, can help us to create an environment which contains different packages that we can use to work on different projects. Now again, I can understand you if you're a bit confused at the moment. This concept took me a little while to understand too. We're gonna to see it in practice throughout a bunch of different examples throughout the course. 